Stephanie Bell Flint joins us now to talk about nausea during chemotherapy. If you have questions, you can send them to the doctors at WLBT.com. Yeah, chemotherapy is a bad thing, but you know what? It's it's saved a lot of lives. Nice so advice. you know you got to go through that. We got with us. Lori Brent, who's a nurse practitioner with Jackson Oncology Associates of Baptist. Thank you so much for joining us, Lori. Thank you. Is nausea the only side effect of chemotherapy? No, by far. Fatigue is probably the most common, but everyone is more afraid of the nausea because it makes them so sick. Now, is there anything that you can do? I, I know that uh, for some people it's more severe than others. You're right. It really depends on the type chemotherapy that they are getting. The physician looks at the form of chemotherapy that the patient is actually receiving and how much nausea the patient will have based on that form of medication. And we pre-med them and usually give them prescriptions for nausea. I have taken plenty of Zofran in my years. <laughs> and that is one of the drugs that yes. is given and um, it keeps <laughs> down the, the feeling that you want to throw up. Right. But there are other drugs out there that are helpful in that. There are. Um, usually there's a medication close to Zofran that we give now instead of Zofran called Aloxy. Um, that's usually just what our clinic uses. It is proven to help nausea for five days and people with oh. breast cancer have usually received a medication that will make them nauseated and so that has been proven to help. There's also a newer medication now called Amend that we also give and they all work differently on the nausea. So, Is, is that um you know, the, the nausea, is it affecting women in breast cancer worse or is it just the same for all cancers? It depends on really the medication that they are receiving. A lot of breast cancer patients are anxious about the nausea and there's something called anticipatory nausea <laughs> and that is where they get nausea, nauseated before they even arrive at our clinic. They get nauseated walking into the chemo room. So. What is it about chemotherapy that causes the nausea? I know that it's killing off some of the bad cells that, that, that contribute to cancer and things of that nature. It puts your body through a lot. Is it the shock of that or what is it exactly that causes the, the nausea? I think just some medications are more susceptible to make you nauseated. It works on the uh, brain and that's where our vomiting center is in our brain. And I think some people just get in their mind too that it's gonna make them nauseated. There are some, there's one in particular, everybody will know it's called the red devil, adriamycin. And that is one that tends to make patients really sick. But we have, it has been amazing to me to see patients come in and say, I never had nausea. Mm -hmm. And those are the ones that we love to hear from. Mm -hmm. So, Wonderful. Well, what is that, that particular uh, chemotherapy used to treat mostly? Most common breast cancer. And, and another side effect, of, of course, is losing their hair, but right. dealing with the nausea, that has to be difficult. It makes it difficult to continue your... It does make it difficult to me. It makes it difficult to work. It makes right. it difficult to take care of your children. It makes it difficult to even care for your family, fix food, you know, make a meal. So that's when it's helpful for families to come in and help, you know, cook a meal for a patient at that time. And the good news is the nausea doesn't last very long. You're right. Yeah. Usually within the first week, following chemotherapy, nausea subsides. And you know, once a patient has experienced nausea, we are right on task of um, scheduling doses of anti-nausea medication, making sure that they have the medication, knowing what medications to take. A lot of nausea medicines make patients constipated. So controlling the constipation as well as the nausea is our job. How do you treat the fatigue? Or there, can you? There is really not a great treatment. Our, um, statement at the office if, is if we had um, a medication to fix the fatigue, we would all be wealthy. <laughs> and there's just really nothing that we can do to fix the fatigue. Right. All right. Lori Brent, nurse practitioner with Jackson Oncology Associates. Thank you for the work you do. I know you've helped a lot of people. And for more health news, you can log on to our website, wlbt.com, and click on Medical Matters.